What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Flag Daddies. I know I had another big break in videos. Work got busy as usual. Uh, but I'm back down here on the Potomac for the first time in a long time. And my main goal is to catch bait. I'm really hoping to stock up for the summer. Uh, I got a tournament Saturday, which has already passed since by the time I get this out. But uh, I wanted to have some fresh shad for that. Um, as you can see, I'm not on my little boat. I'm on the pontoon. Uh, the little boat's kind of sick right now. Something with the jet uh, impeller. I, I don't know. I screwed it up. I sucked something into it. Uh, so that's, you know, getting fixed. So I'm going to be using this for a while. Uh, tons of room. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to trailer around. It's a family boat. It's not a single person boat. But that's all right. This is a, another kind of last minute kind of thing. Didn't really get anybody to come with me because I decided to go last night. Not not a week ago so we'll see uh but i think i'm going to get into a lot of fish it's about 50 degree water temp it's going to be a gorgeous day so let's see what i can get into thanks for watching well first mission accomplished 29 of those big old shad uh now i just wish i had a bigger cooler i've got a second small one i'm gonna throw some in just so i can get some ice on it but yeah i wasn't expecting uh this many and honestly i thought i'd get some more in it kind of pretty bad but we'll make it work man am i glad i got a pressure washer my family wouldn't want to come in this thing like this and that's just from getting shad after i catch 30 catfish it's gonna be gross you know i can dream 30 catfish Oh, I want to catch the fish that can eat this. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of want to be over a little bit more. So I'm on a channel ledge like I usually am. Oh no, that's uh, it's not nearly far enough. I got to readjust my anchor. I got to be facing more the other way. But it goes down to uh, like 60 some feet over that way and uh, I'm not fishing where I want to be. I think the wind kind of blew me away from where I want to be. But I'll just move this down. Getting some bigger baits out. 50 degree water. I, I'm not worried about uh, small baits today. I think the big boys are going to be eating. Big girls. Hmm, I might be readjusting though. We're sitting in 17 foot of water. That's not where I want to be fishing. Yeah, I'm gonna bring these in and readjust. All right, that's better. So that's gonna go in like the 60 foot of stuff. I'm gonna swing around and my, I'm hoping to be sitting in like the 40 to 30 foot range right behind the boat. And then I'll be able to cast one into like the 20s. That holds a lot of fish in the shallower stuff, but for some reason I always catch the bigger ones in the real deep stuff. Something's happening with that, but I think I might have crap on that line. I'm hoping to just see it bend over and start swimming. But I gotta admit, it's been surprisingly slow. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Take that giant head down. Go ahead. Uh, I think you let it go. That's a big chunk of bait. You'd think it'd be uh, getting hit a little harder than that. Okay, there's something just been sitting with this. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Somebody decided to tangle with this heavy line or this big old bait. I don't know why I said heavy line. Uh, he's not very big though, or he's just swimming up. Even in this current, he's not feeling giant. Uh, He's holding his own. I get fooled by him a lot. I think I think he was just swimming up. I think he's gonna be decent. I don't think he's gonna be a above 20 though. But we'll see. He's, his head shakes feel pretty small.
Let me get the net. This is not the easiest boat to navigate by yourself. The rods and the bimini and chairs and everything get in the way. And it's really far off the water. So netting's never fun, but it's one of the trade-offs. I'm gonna stop complaining though, because it's a really nice boat and I'm glad I have it. Especially since my other one ain't working right now. All right, this guy's not gonna be bad. Oh, don't, don't twist around that line. Yeah, he's gonna be pretty decent. Uh, all right, get up here, what are you doing? He's a good starter fish. He's really uh, giving it everything he's got here. Ooh, I don't like that hook job. That could pop out at any minute. It's kind of in the jaw patch. Oh no, it's like through the skin. I'll have to show you guys how this thing's hooked if I get them. That is the weirdest hook job I think I've ever had. Get in the net. Woo, got him. Wasn't a pretty net job, but I got him. Uh, he's in the boat. Not very gracefully, but he's in there. Yeah, he's pushing that 20 pound mark. That's not a bad fish. But as promised, let me show you how I got him hooked here. I don't know how it happened. I'm happy it happened. But, uh, you guys see that? How does that happen? Unless it just, he bit the bait and the hook just kind of rolled around and got him. It's in the skin. But that's a good first fish. And he bit the head chunk. Cool. All right. I'm not going to weigh this guy. We'll just say he's 19, 20 pounds. Eh, 18 to 20 pounds. Somewhere like that. Hopefully that angle's working. Uh, I got kind of a weird setup right now. So I'll see if I can fix that. Well, cool. I'm glad he bit. That was on the head chunk. And I got another one to throw back on. So, just let him go off the front here. Later. He gone. All right, well, this spot's not really panning out. I pretty much always have some kind of luck here. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's better than others, but you know, you gotta, gotta be willing to move. And it's pain with a big boat like this by yourself, all these rods, but I can't sit here all day and just expect to eventually catch fish. I mean, maybe I would. It's it's a ledge, a channel ledge. They could be uh, coming up it eventually, but right now they're not here. So I'm gonna get all the baits off, except for maybe that head chunk, uh, and move. I don't know if I'm gonna go shallower or deeper. I might try to just scan and see if I can find some marks. Um, this uh, hummingbird fish finder I have definitely doesn't mark the catfish or at least the blue cats as well as the uh the garments i have but yeah you know, it does show some and well, i don't know i'll just i'll try to come up with a game plan here but sitting in the same spot when they're not biting it's kind of a waste of time i'm tired but i'm not that tired i'm gonna stay up this way until the tide stops and once the tide stops i'm gonna drive down to my favorite spot on the river and hopefully I eat up a lot of the slack tide driving down there. This boat's a lot slower than my other one. Wait. Whoa. That's not me reeling in. There's actually something playing with that. Hold on. Hold on. Last minute fish. And this isn't looking like a bad one there. <sighs> That's not a bad one. All right. Oh, but he pulled off. He pulled off that hook point, didn't get in a good spot. Crap. Well, that's two fish now on the deeper stuff. I've had like little taps over on the shallow. I think that kind of just made up my mind. Maybe I'll just go a little bit deeper and see if there's anything hanging out in there. Man, it would have been nice, but big chunk of bait like this, you're gonna have problems getting it hooked. Here's this ledge I've been fishing. 
looks like they might be hanging a little bit in this deeper stuff. So I think we'll give it a shot. All right, we're set up a lot deeper. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, 57 foot behind the boat. Uh, gets out like 65 foot out that way and comes up into the 50s to 40s over there. Pretty much everything's right in that 56 to 60 foot range right now. Um, I marked some fish too, so I'm really, really hoping for the best here. I don't have that big of a, a spread, even having six rods out, they're all kind of there but if a fish comes through they're going to see that bait in this in this you know path so well might have something already yeah we got something over here oh yeah oh yeah okay that's a real one that's a real one guys <laughs> man that did not take long let me see if i can get this going over here that's right wow yeah that's a heavy fish Feels like a heavy fish. Cool. All right, this could be the one that makes this trip worthwhile here. He's head shaking, but they're big head shakes. Man, I gotta tighten the drag on this. <laughs> All right, it's feeling pretty good. Like when he does his head shakes, he doesn't feel super big, and then, and then as soon as he stops, he gets heavy again. And as always, yes, I'm fighting current. I like to bring that up a lot because uh, if you don't, if you're not used to fighting heavy flow conditions, you won't really know what I'm talking about. Then it it feels like a twice as big of a fish when you're doing that. But uh, this is definitely bigger than the one I had before. Oh no, did he get in that line? He did. He got in the other line. I think. I thought he was up past it, but. It's really looking like he's in that line. Whatever, we'll work around it. Yeah, he's definitely in it. Woo! Yeah! Ooh, that's some weight on there. Oh, man. He stopped swimming up. He's just holding down. It's kind of just going back and forth in the same area. But he hasn't come to the surface and I'm happy about that. I think he might give up and yeah, he's working on coming up to the surface though. That's, I mean, I'll get a good look at it then, but that makes the fight a pain. Oh, he's swimming down river. No, don't do that. Oh, that's a hog out there. It only takes one good fish to turn the trip around. Let's see if that helps. Probably just tangled it more. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I hope he stays buckled because that's that's up at the surface. All right, he's try, he or she's trying to dive down now. Oh, it's swimming towards the boat. Let me get some line. Some A-class commentary here. Oh, it's still in that other line. Oh well. Once I get it up closer to the boat, I might be able to uh, go under these and go on the back deck thing here and uh, net him. Oh, cool, you got the other line too? Man, you're my hero. You're just the greatest. Oh, yeah, that is a fat hog. This thing's been feeding, not just on my bait, that's for sure. It looks like a pretty decent hook job. Well, I may as well just take it over here and just get all my lines. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. That's a heavy, heavy fish. Made heavier by all the extra stuff on it. Oh, I wish I had somebody else with me right now. Uh, gotta take this one off there. 
I, I foresee this boat getting some adjustments done to it throughout the course of the year. I'm just learning now. But then again, when I'm not fishing, I tend to not think about my boat set up. I'm like that. Come on, buddy. Come on up. Let me net you. You want to be in this boat. You know you do. Oh, come on, net. I'm going to break the line here. I can see it. That thing's definitely heavier than my line graded for it. Oh, that got the makings of a 50. Oh, yeah, he's in. Woo, that was ugly. But I got him. He's in the net. I only tangled up two other lines. All right. Look at this fish. Oh, that's heavy. That's a heavy fish. Woohoo! That's one heavy fish. That's a monster. Absolute mondo pig, whatever descriptor you want to use. Uh, yeah. I might break my rod doing this. Let me get them unhooked. Well, I'd say that move was worth the while. Well, yeah, you weren't coming out, were you? That barb is in there. Get all this tangle off of you. Get you in the boat. And untangle this stuff. Ooh. That's a 50, for sure. I guess that's my first 50 of the year. I'll have to go back. I don't think I caught anything. Yeah, I didn't catch anything bigger this year. It's only March though. Whoa, we got another. Maybe, it's trying. Yeah, I think that's a fish. I think that's a fish. Let me get this up and out. <laughs> you a fishy? Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, yeah. This one's a little less serious, which is good because I got that guy. Yeah, I'm going to let that guy on the on right now. And I got to weigh this guy and get it back. That's a huge fish. Uh, I'm going to end this clip so that I know everything saves. That's not a small fish, though. All right, back on. Uh, yeah, this guy's huge. I, I'd say he's in the upper 50-pound range, too. Freaking toad. All right, so they're hanging in the deep. You just be a good old fish and stay on there. It went from zero to absolute hero in no time. You're a big fish. Thanks for biting. All right, buddy. You gotta be. Nikes, that's heavy. Fifty-six in the net, so about fifty-five pounds. Yeah, woo! All right, I'm gonna try to show them off. I got the sun at my back here. Maybe that'll work out. Uh, grippy. So, this fifty-six in the net, well, fifty-six and change. So we're gonna call him fifty-five. I know you guys didn't see this, the weight, but trust me when I say that. Oh. He's every bit of it. That's a big, big boy or girl. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so freaking happy and pumped. You guys don't even know. Oh, maybe you do if you caught a fish like this, you know. <laughs> Whoa. All right, Bubba, let's get you. Ow. All right, you got some life in you still. 
that one kind of got quiet back there. I don't know if he's on there or not. Screen is all messed up. We gotta get the Snapchat going, you know. I'm not much of a social media guy, but sometimes you gotta share with your buddies, you know. All right, here goes a 55 pounder. Just like that. Pounder. All right, guys. Now that all that's done, is this thing still on? Looks like it. I think that fish might still be there. So it's a very well-behaved fish. It is. Man, aren't you just a nice guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. You could have been down there just destroying my setup it's not small oh look at all this crap coming down all right i gotta completely redo everything after this except maybe that one and i'm not complaining one bit well, that fish made my trip It's the kind of fish that makes me very happy I keep a scale on board. Oh, come on. I already got out of it. Get down there. Thanks, dude. It's very nice of you to hang out down there. Grab it by the leader. Oh, that was a little heavy to be doing that. Almost sliced my finger up. Yeah, you're a little bigger than I was thinking you were, little girl. Little tiny mouth girl. Yes. Trying to clamp down on my finger though. Really pale. Oh, what a crap angle that was. All right, guys. Here's another one. Fast and furious in this new spot. Real pale fish. Hopefully you're catching it. Uh, man, I'm ecstatic. needed a bath anyway cool time to get everything recombobulated all right that's the last one i gotta get rejiggered everything is all messed up right now or it was messed up from that little flurry of action it's okay i bet that catches on one of my lines well actually Look at this, it's actually going to straddle that. That's incredible. Wow. Feels like turn the camera on. I need to do that more often. I felt something hit the underneath of my boat too. I got all kinds of stuff coming. And it's not stopping anytime soon, but the tide is going to stop soon. It's slowing down. I probably got 45 minutes to an hour left of this and it'll be slack. Then I'll go that way. You heard there's some big fish being caught around here. Always trying to get my spots. Hey, that one's swimming. Pretty sure that's swimming up river with it. Oh yeah, now I take it this time. Don't mess around. Don't don't get my feelings all going. It's looking pretty solid. Everything on. Alright, everything's on. Got three angles. Let me turn this one while he's still trying to figure out how to get that in his mouth. i I really hope this point's got him this time. He's just sitting there with it. It's really strange. Can't wait any longer. I think it's stuck this time. I think it's stuck this time. All right. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. 
drag's not super tight on it, but this isn't a baby fish here. Yeah, on that head chunk. I just put that new one on. It's a slightly smaller head chunk and he connected this time. That's what I'm talking about. Whew, you can't ask for a better day. Like no wind, they're calling for a lot more wind, like up to 10 miles per hour, which could make for some choppy, nasty stuff, but just a slight breeze right now. I got some shade from the bimini and the fish are actually biting, all four of them. All right, so we're gonna shift these down so I can get this door open here. I don't know why I latched that. What do we got here? He's not a 50 pounder, but he'll be a good one. Oh yeah. Look at you showing out up top here. It's determined it might get it off. I mean, the way it's rolling like that. Oh no, that, that hook's not going anywhere. Come on in, fish. Don't you do it. Oh, yeah. Not a 50, but it might be a 40. Woo! Another beast from the deep. Yeah, burp. Burp yourself out. Oh. Enough things to work around here, that's for sure. <laughs> I was really losing faith in this spot been really slow since those uh other two when i first got here Woo. oh it feels good to have another pig in a boat that's definitely a 40. yeah oh and it's burping like crazy i yelled over top of it but this one's gonna go back down no problem all right get these clips saved up here look at you and that hook man you can't can't get better than that got a nice head chunk right there i might even throw that back out I just put it on all right where's my grippies up here where i let them go Go figure uh actually let me get it unhooked and i'll weigh him while he's in the net man he just bit it and chilled there he didn't care one bit a big dog around here I guess currently and didn't have to worry about somebody stealing his stuff I guess hook points don't hurt that bad to him or else he'd probably be going nuts alright buddy I'm guessing 42 or something like that oh, 46 in the net so 45 you're 10 pounds less than that for that other one yeah We're not going to get a break from the helicopter, though. He is. He is going to check it out. Oh. But hey, I'll show it off to them. Check this out. Maybe I'll make the news. Oh. They can see it from up there. All right, guys. There's a 45 pounder, if you can hear me. They're checking it out, I think. Never had a helicopter check out my fish or had one big enough for a helicopter to see. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked. Let me see if I can get a better angle. That's pretty poopy. No. He's gonna break these grippers here. Try not to get real slimy, but here we go anyway. I got extra clothes in the truck. There he is. Woo, I'm gonna stink. And it's worth it. Yeah, 45 pounder, y'all. All right. You guys see that? 
This camera's not working very well. Oh my god. That is that's a takedown right there. Alright, you stay on there, buddy. Woo, look at that. Why are you coming back up like that? Huh? But yeah, this thing's like froze. I gotta take the battery out of it real quick. Just like that. Did you did you come off? Uh, maybe I should have cranked that. No, it's on there. So what's going on right now? If you guys can hear me, we've got just about slack tide. So we got current. It looks like it's still flowing that direction, but there's an undercurrent right now, or undertow, whatever you call, coming back towards the boat. So the lines are getting a little messed up, and it's the start of the crappy time. But this fish didn't care. Let's see. Hopefully, it saved that last clip. All right, let's see. You still on there? It's still on there. What a good fish. And they're chilling in the deep. I can't believe it just hung out there like that, but so did that other one, I guess. That last one I just let go. He was just chilling while I was doing stuff. Maybe that was the one before. I don't know. This one's definitely not a 45 or 55 pounder. But that's all right. That was a mean takedown. Big head shakes. Yeah, I gotta worry about this boat coming. I, the, the channel's down there. I should be all right. Hopefully they don't cut over. These people don't care down here. But man, I hope all my audio has been working today. My net's in pieces. If I do have to net it, I'm gonna have to put it in a rod holder and wait, but we'll see. Ah, uh, he's not a bad fish. Let me, um, let me get the grippers. I'll just grip this guy. Man, I thought that 45 pounder was going to break these. It just didn't, didn't like that one bit. He was twisting and doing some nasty stuff. My arm is just nothing but slime. I haven't had a chance to fix that. I'm trying to text my buddy. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got a burp out. He's not in great shape. His belly's all a big balloon. Oh, you stink. There he is, a little stinky fish. I'm going to try getting the burp out here. I don't have anything in, in my boat to do that with, but I'll give it a shot. Maybe rub its belly. But, yeah. That's number five, I think. Been slow for the Potomac, but overall, oh, no, no, right out of the bricks. Go back. It's going down. All right, he burped down enough, I guess. It's not how I wanted to release it. Oh, well, let me get this line back for just a little bit longer and uh, get things put back together. Now I'm get a work phone call. They're gonna have to wait. On vacation. Hey, we got a baby chewing on it. I was actually bringing everything in, uh, just slowly bringing stuff in. I was gonna work down river, but hey, we got we got something trying. I'm gonna let that one till the end. You know, the last one. He looks like a sandwich-sized fish, to be honest. And I think it's a head chunk, so he's really gonna have to work hard. Maybe it's a crab. But yeah, the undertow is getting pretty strong. The baits are just coming right back towards me. So while it's the tide's trying to figure itself out, I'm gonna go down river. It's gonna be about a 45 minute drive from where I'm at and eat up a lot of gas. But hopefully by the time I get there, the tide might be getting a little, a little figured out. Probably have a little bit of time left once I'm down there to kill. Probably leave the head chunks on and replace the rest. I mean, not, not that I want to eat it or anything. Oh, did you get it? Well, I think he got it. Yeah, he stuck himself, guys. Somehow. That was a, that was a big head chunk. Oh, he grew a little bit. What were you doing down there? You got at least a little weight to you. 
Why are you struggling? Did a little fish bite it and then a big one came up and eat it? Maybe he got chomped on. Man, it just keeps feeling like I'm gonna lose him because he's doing so many rolls. Come on, Bubbles, where you at? Oh yeah, that's a porker right there. All right, man, you fooled me. And the lines are all in, so you can't tangle up in them. I'll bring you around. Maybe you'll burp out while I'm doing this. Yeah. It looks like a 30, but I think a lot of that's just air. Making me work for it. That's all right, though. That's what I'm here to do. So nice and slimed up now. I was on the fence about whether I was gonna pressure wash it before we had our tournament this weekend, but that's just a channel cat tournament. It's probably not gonna get that dirty, so I may as well clean it tomorrow. I'm off anyway. Hey, that might actually be a 30. I'm gonna weigh you. Burp, 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 burp. There you go. Get that air out, buddy. All right, another hog in the boat. Yeah, I was thinking it was mostly air, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a that's a 30. Listen to it burp out. It's actually a really good thing to hear because when they come up from that 60 foot of water, they could uh, they can really struggle getting out. Oh man. Okay, he swallowed that all, but that circle hooks down in his throat. I might have to just cut the line on this one, we'll see. I can get on it, I'm trying to roll it out of his throat here. Got it, and the head. I almost feel like I should give you that head, you worked so hard for it. Why do I keep putting that scale all the way back there like I'm not gonna be catching any more big fish? Uh, he might be upper 20s, I don't know. He didn't feel that heavy when I picked him up. Without. The net for this guy. Yep, yeah, he's about 29 pounds, just under. So almost a 30 pounder. Woo! Man, I'm having fun today. After not fishing for so long, this is a good way to come back into it. Uh, the video you guys just saw was back in December. I just never got around to finish editing it. Uh, maybe early January, I don't know. world record well nobody thought this fish matters but holy cow he's still going but i don't think he's gonna have any problems going back and he's got some fork whiskers too he's gonna go back down to that 60 uh 60 feet of water no problem oh my god i've never heard anything like it I think he lost a pound, and there doesn't even weigh anything. Oh. Hmm. My grips aren't doing so well. But whatever, he's gone. Woo! Hate to leave this spot, but I kind of want to try to switch things up a little bit while the tide's doing whatever the tide wants to do. So, man, this has been awesome. I'm running out of commentary here. I never have much to say, but I'm really running out of my uh, my normal things. All right, coming up to this second spot here. You can see it's super deep, and there's a lot of fish down in there. It's more marks than I see anywhere else. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the inside or outside, whatever uh, edge of this channel to this hole. It's not really a channel; it's a hole down here. Let's see if I can find anything on that. 
because there's a lot of rock on that side and I like fishing that. Can't go down where I wanted to fish. We got some bass guys down there. So uh, they're here first. If they move before I get fully set up, I might bump down. But man, I'm not seeing much coming up the other side. Uh, there's something decent. Yeah, that's a big fish. I know I'm going a lot slower than I was before, but yeah, that's a good sized fish. So I'm gonna fish this deeper stuff and get a couple out in the shallow. So I'm gonna have two head chunks on this outside edge here. And uh, yeah, hope for something big swimming in there. That's probably about 60 foot, almost 60 foot out there. Definitely 60 foot out there, almost 70. So. They're gonna swing behind the boat, obviously, but hopefully they stay in the deep stuff and hopefully there's something cruising down there, but I'm gonna be able to hit this edge coming up into the 50s and 40s over this way. Keep my rod pointed that way so when it comes down, the angle's out where I want it to be. The current's not real crazy yet. There's some, but it's not super crazy, so. They might actually hang out there for a little bit. Get a little chunk for this guy. Because for some reason I still have a smaller hook on here. It's like a size 8 or something. And I've just been too lazy to change it. But it's on the float so I don't really need a giant chunk. Or else it might not actually float. So I'm not very proud of this but... That's where I got my lunch. I'd rather have that than a mushy turkey sandwich. Can I give you a call back? Actually, I just got a, a fish on the line. Well, it's my good luck charm there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, did he get all these lines? I think he did. Yeah. Oh, man, he's hauling. So this was a head chunk I threw over there. Remember I was saying I wasn't real sure if I should put it over there, but it looks like it paid off. He's got two other lines already, and he's going for more. All right, I haven't been here very long. And we got a chunker on. Yeah, that's a good fish. Hopefully it's... Well... I don't know how long that back camera is going to stay on. It doesn't seem to want to do it anymore. It looks like he might have swam out of those other lines. We'll see. But... Yeah, this thing is... Uh, I was going to say acrobatic, but that's in the air. Whatever... The equivalent of acrobatic in the water is uh it's going all over the place oh man i thought he i thought he threw it there Whoo! yeah that's a chunker that's a good fish out there guys Let's see if i can keep him buttoned up here he's uh he's rolling like crazy he knows the moves it must have been hooked before Oh, he's all wrapped up in it. But hey, thanks for getting out of my other lines. Oh yeah, he's hooked good. I don't think he's losing that. He's hooked good. Yeah. Big headed male. Put that head right in the net. Oh yeah. It's like that last big one I caught. Probably just about 20 or 30 just shy of it be my guess it's all i had my sandwich out it's like no way that is not happening i had my sandwich out and i was on the phone guaranteed to catch a fish that way right. so this guy's all but 27 pounds just under so a lot like that last decent one i caught uh, 
good first fish for this spot. Hopefully there's something bigger, but I don't care if they're all like this. And all right. I mean, if this is the only fish I catch, then I guess they're all like this. But it's the only bite so far. And he was over in the shallower stuff, so I guess we're gonna have to. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit more time, and if I don't get anything out of the deep stuff, well then I know to go over that way, and vice versa. If I if I get a bunch out of the deep, I'll stay over here. But cool. Something's trying for that head chunk over there. You guys see it? She's going. Oh, that sounds big. Yeah, that's no baby, that's for sure. Woohoo! All right, lay out that deep stuff. Head chunk. On the, on the reel with the least amount of line on it. I don't know why I cast it so far out. Right, I'm not worried about this thing spooling me. It's just fighting like a heavy fish. Cool. He's way over here still. He can stay that way until he's close and then I'll work him over. Didn't even finish my sandwich yet. Did get some bad news though. My boy broke his finger like a month ago and they got him into the specialist and they think it's not going to heal right it's going to be a little bit short and yesterday he was playing soccer and he got hit in the wrist with a ball and that's broken now too so he's getting a cast today so poor guy it's not going well for him right now oh this thing's coming up to the surface oh yeah that's a big fat fish that needs to burp out. Oh yeah, that's a big one. But yeah, he's gonna have a hard cast for like four weeks. Uh, oh well, it's part of being a kid, I guess. Oh man, but never heard of anybody breaking their wrist from getting hit by a soccer ball. I gotta say, that's new. All right, you tried to go down, but your belly's too fat to stay down. Come on. Well, if you're gonna stay up top, I'll try to work you over. Come on over. You're just spinning around. Come on. Ooh, yeah, that's, a, that's probably a 40. That's a big one. How are you hooked? It's in the bottom jaw, which they have giant tooth patches, so who knows how well that's gonna stay. But it's made this long with all those rolls. I don't know, I, maybe I worry more than most people, but I'm always worried about that hook coming undone. It's happened too many times. Oh yeah, look at the head on this thing. Oh yes! Yes! Woo, what a day. That is a 40 any day. It's gotta be. Whew. That is a fat belly too. Maybe it'll be a 30. It just looks like a 40 with that big belly. But yeah. Look at that hog. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, you're recording at least. Look at that. Look at this fish. There's my feet. Size 10s, he's making them look like baby feet. Yes, look at you, my dude. Another one I'm gonna weigh in the net here. Oh my god, he's a freaking monster though with that head. You like that head chunk, didn't you? You guys are digging that today. Get off of everything. Oh, yeah. He's 50 in the net. So, 49 pounder. What? What? Whew. Whew. 
that's a 49 pounder <laughs> i thought i thought he was in the 40s i didn't know he was about to push uh 50 here that's crazy he was touching 50 with it moving around in that so i'm gonna take a pound off call him 49 and we got a bite over there on that chunk i just threw out <sighs> let's get this turned around doesn't look like a very serious fish though See if I can get this guy showing off here. Absolute behemoth. His mouth is giant. It's gonna tear me to pieces, but it's gonna be worth it. Yeah! 49 pounder. And I'm a skinny guy. And this is kind of a lot to hold up. But there you go. <laughs> Look at the head on this thing. Freaking beast. <laughs> That's awesome. He's gonna tear me to pieces when I let him go because I'm not using a gripper. Get this 49 pounder in. Another deep fish. Here he goes. Looks like uh, I'm gonna bring everything in. That guy can't get back down on his own. I thought he had burped down off, but he keeps coming back up. I gotta say, it is trying. So let me see if there's even a fish on this. Now I'm just bringing up another line, I think. But yeah, I'll get everything in, pull the freaking anchor rope in, and uh, go get that guy resuscitated. Cause that, not letting almost a 50 pound fish die. What are you doing, fish? Did you die? <clears throat> Come here. <clears throat> I'm gonna fall in. This guy's gonna walk and make me fall in here. There you are. What are you doing, fish? Well, you still got a hell of a bite. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you got a bite. This is gonna suck putting my hand down there. Yeah, I've got both my hands in there now. What are you doing? Ha! Ah. There's like no air in there. Maybe if I just put your head first. Alright. You ready? Let's try this again. Get him, bowl. It's a nice dive. Let me back up so I don't hit him with my prop. Fish? All right. I think he was confused more than anything. There's no way it had a bunch of air in its stomach. All right, we'll call that a success story. Hope he survives. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna be a wrap. It was one heck of a day and I can't ask for anything more. I'm gonna get home at a decent time so I can hang out with my family before uh, you know they all go to bed. I still got a long drive ahead of me and a lot of stuff to put, to put away. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I definitely did. And thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it.